make sure my equipment right. Procrastination is a dream killer, man. Procrastination is a dream killer. You've been putting off something for so long. You know, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it next week. And then guess what, next week comes and then you never do it. Procrastination will have your dreams killed in a matter of minutes. I wanna show y'all something. This right here. Now, it's cracked, even the front. Done. It's, oh, it's dead. But, as cracked as this is, that phone is why I stay humble. You wanna know why? That phone reached so many people. That phone right there. And I procrastinated so much, like, man, I don't got the equipment to do this. You know, I don't have, no, I, don't, I can't do that because I don't have. Use your resources, man. I wasn't telling myself that. No, I was procrastinating a lot, and a lot of you guys are doing that, and I want you to stop doing that. You know, it kills your dreams. It kills any type of motivation that you have going towards anything, whether that's starting a business, whether you want to become a content creator, whether you want to be anything in life, it kills it immediately. You wake up telling yourself that, oh, I'm going to go do it. I'm going to do it tomorrow. I just ain't get to it today. Then tomorrow come, you don't do it. Or I, I'll do it next week. The next week comes and you don't never do it. It just creates this ongoing cycle of delayness. Just delay, 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 delay. You don't have time for that, man. And I want you to stop. Procrastinating doesn't help you in any way, shape, or form. Think about it like this. How many opportunities have you missed out from procrastinating? Because I know I missed out on a lot. I had to have. How many goals have you set aside because you procrastinated? You were too tired, too busy, no time. How many times? It kills dreams, bro. You know, and I've been sitting here just in my thoughts and really just talking about it because I know a lot of my supporters is going through stuff like that. I know a lot of y'all are giving up and I wanna be your motivation to keep going because I know how that is. I know how that is. I know how that is where you just feel like you can't do anything anymore, you're ready to give up, nothing's working. I've been there before, bro. I've been there before. And it's not cool. We all have reasons on why we procrastinate, basically. Why do we procrastinate? It's fear of failure. It's fear of success. It's fear of perfection. It's fear of plain laziness. It's everything. But none of these excuses will help you reach where you're trying to get to, my brother, my sister. It won't. In fact, <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, that's the very thing that's holding you back. Literally. Not only your mind, because your mind will tell you things, but the procrastination. We procrastinate because we want to avoid discomfort with a lot. The truth is, chasing your dreams isn't easy. It's not at all. It requires hard work. It requires discipline. And sometimes making sacrifices. Most times. For those who don't know, and I know a lot of y'all are new, I got a couple decisions I have to make. Yes, I do. But if you're serious about your goals, you'll do it. You have to choose between progress over procrastination. Mm -hmm. 
the cost of procrastination is high. Indeed. It, it's not just about, you know, missing deadlines with things, you know, things that you set goals for yourself for to hit at a certain time. It, it's not. Nah. It's about missing out on your potential. That That's what it is. It's about every time you procrastinate, you're putting your dreams or things you want to pursue on hold. We're not doing that no more. You're delaying your success, your happiness, and your growth. I know what it feels like to procrastinate. To put things off because it feels easier in the moment. But I've also seen the consequences of the mindset. Okay? Of having that. And it's not good, y'all. The opportunities lost, the time wasted. The dreams that you would never achieve, dreams you would never realize could have happened. And I'm here to tell you, it's not worth it. You missing out. The good news is you can overcome procrastination. Yes, you can. It starts with small steps. Breaking down your goals is something you need to do into manageable tasks. Setting deadlines, easy goals, reachable. Holding yourself accountable is very important. It's about creating a routine for yourself, man. One of the best ways to beat procrastination is to take action. Even if it's just working for 10 minutes towards your goals, you need to have no days off when it comes to reaching your goals. There, there is no days off, my brother. There isn't. Um, you need to spend time doing some type of activity towards your goals. 10 minutes is better than doing nothing. 10 minutes is better than putting it off to the side while I'll do it tomorrow and then never do it at all. 10 minutes is something you can do to put towards your dreams. It's momentum. Maybe slow progress, slow momentum, but it's momentum and progress. And before you know it, you're gonna be closer to your goals. I want to challenge you today to stop procrastinating and start taking action. Start taking action. Don't wait for the perfect moment because you'll never find a perfect moment. You need to start now. There is no perfect moment. There is no perfect time. The perfect time is now. The perfect moment is now, but there is no perfect moment. My point is for you to start even when you don't know what you're doing, start. It doesn't matter. Get started, learn on your way. I don't want you putting off your dream. I don't want you to do it. Your dreams deserve more than just thoughts. Your dreams deserve action. I don't know who needed to hear that. Maybe it was just me, but 
take more action, stop procrastinating, and just start. You never know where it can take you. You just never know.